We've been a little low on mojo recently. Park run today is a way to kickstart that. So I've left home and we live in this little cool laneway. It's about 150 meters and then I'm on King William Street, which is the main street running north south through Adelaide City. The tram goes along King William down to Glenelg and another say 200 meters you get to Victoria Square which is in the center and tour down under has its main kind of start line from here. Always things on. <laughs> we live like right in the city. Such a good spot. Every day we look out the window and go my god we live in a great spot. So today running to Torrens Park Run. Australia's biggest city and then when I moved to Queensland I remember going to Brisbane and thinking that really small and now I've come to Adelaide and it's tiny very cute though and I love it so far we've been here a week there's so much on though festivals and you know, I guess it's called the festival city Brisbane you don't really get any seasons it's either hot or it's warm but here you've got all the leaves coming off the tree cold you get to run in the cold which I love it's really nice to have seasons let's see how I feel in three months time and it's still cold here and I'm waiting for some warmth and sunshine I used to run along the Brisbane River and now I can run along the Torrens there's the stadium across there the convention centre a couple of hotels it's not a very tall city but it's a cutie city Brisbane has the city ferries, Adelaide has the Popeye that lands here. But, uh, we'll take you on the Popeye one day to go up the cute little creek. <laughs> so one of the reasons we moved here is for rowing. So here are some of the rowing sheds. This is the Torrens where Tim used to row when he was at school. There's his rowing shed up there. But that's not the one he's going to be coaching out of. He'll be coaching out of the one down at West Lakes. Well, this path that I'm on goes a fair way it goes down to the beach and it also goes to the Adelaide Hills during park run do an effort of five minutes and then slow down for three hopefully I have enough time to do my warm-up so it goes under the Abyss Bridge that's the rowing sheds where I was on the other side and then the city from a different view Running's always a good way to discover a new city, see what's around. One of the things I've struggled with is that it's so dark in the morning. I know I can train in the dark. I'm going to head back, ready for the start line and hope I don't miss the start. Yeah, the elders past president meeting for a long period of time. Sub 25, sub 25, sub 25, sub 25, you sub 30, you'll be a bad player. On your marks, get set. Go! Enjoy up there, team. Enjoy. Stay left. 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 I did my first five minute effort, and this is weird racing park run and then having to do three minutes easy. I have to let everyone pass by and then. Take over again. You can see on the other side the Popeye. This is actually really good practice to not get caught up with others. My second five minute effort coincided with an uphill. Here comes Tim. I reckon in about six. Uh, honey. Thank you. You have to be really intentional with your pace if you're going to do something like this during a race. And another recovery, three minutes. You have to be really intentional about and not trying to speed up when people pass.
last one. I forgot to put the camera on at the end. I think it was like 27, 47. That one first. Thank you. Get those tokens back to us. So I'm still in the middle of an effort, so pretty much need to go. Heading home now. But I still have one more effort to do. My final effort. city Adelaide I love living in the city I really love where we live right in the middle of everything it's also great running weather so thanks for running with me and uh, look forward to sharing a lot more of Adelaide with you or as we like to say Radelaide